uh, travel bureau mm. agency to, you know, uh, make my reservation. And I smelled that cigarette smoke when I walked in there. I said, God damn it, can't stand it, can't stand it. And I said, hey, I said, somebody smoking in here? So the guy said, yeah, so we all smoke. I said, well, look, do you have a cigarette? Oh, boy, she jumped down my throat. No, 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 don't give her no cigarette. And I had to cuss her out, and, but I got the cigarette. But you know, it is, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to quit, but I'm doing real good. I only smoked two today. That's so cute. We are going off. Welcome back to the fourth and final instalment for uh, Squill here today. Plug, 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 fantasy ball video available from where? It, you can get this at Hairs and Hyenas and you can get it, there are a few left at the Exchange Hotel, I believe. So please, and there is a telephone number, which is 9882-6367. Thank you. Please buy. Please buy. <laughs> and now listen, now listen. And please buy, because I want to tell you, <laughs> do you really want to be a mum at 60? Do you really want to be a mother? I'm a mother, I'm a nana, and I'm nearly 60. I don't want to have my legs up in the air in stirrups again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they don't really. do it with stirrups anymore. Don't they? I don't Those think days so. Don't they do it like that? No, they do it now. Birthing centres with like dolphins oh. floating around now. <laughs> well, well, I mean, done those they're going anymore, to stop. Well, with the GST, they'll probably go back. Yeah, will. that's right. You know what they're going to do? They are going to stop the biological clock, and our menopause will stay a little longer. <laughs> we don't want to have all we'll that hot flush and, and all that garbage. Well, I don't really want to be a mum at sixty. So they reckon I that there can be a new pill that can they help can, yeah. women can, yeah. It's all this going to, that can have their babies and we, we can preserve the eggs and the ovaries. Of, oh, that would make me sick you know, now. I don't think I'd wanna, and I love my grandkids and my kids. I don't think I don't I'd want to be a 15-year-old with a 75-year-old mum anyway. No, you'd like me as a mum. Oh, well, that's true, hurt. actually. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah but I'm a bit older than 15 yeah. now. And listen, very quick, can I talk about that porno pest who lives in Mill Park? <laughs> oh my God, did you hear about this one, He's Jane? Like God, and he got revenge with the former neighbour. And he believed the victim had made fun of his sister and dumped dog, dog droppings. I've got your disease then. And cigarette butts in his yard, and then he bombarded. The, the street with exquisite letters what, mm. and pictures, what, in people's letters yeah, boxes, boxes or something? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Stick. And um, along the theme of bugs, we've got the beetle wrestling is the latest um, delight of Japan's growing ranks with live beetle collectors. Really? So there you can go and get Dan and I don't know that he does, Bert. So you might want to get over to Japan and, and see the be beetle wrestling. On a more serious note, um, there's a fabulous article here in the Herald Sun um, stating that Melbourne scientists uh, are leading the way in the AIDS vaccine test. Um, and they found a powerful vaccine to block the AIDS virus yeah. um, and it will be tested on a Australians next year. Fabulous. So, finally we're getting some great answers with the uh, HIV AIDS epidemic. The US health authorities have sunk in 27 million into speeding up the, the production of the vaccine um, and they reckon within the next 18 months they will be uh, starting uh, trials here on 40 volunteers. So, um, they say within the next five years they reckon that they're really going to have it um, um, fine-tuned down because it uses a double whammy um, in, uh, injection, two injections, to one to knock it and then one to build up your immune system. So they're trying to uh, to uh, co-ex gene, it's been called. So um, keep your ears and eyes. And isn't that fabulous that Melbourne yeah, Melbourne's leading the way there? The uh, highest uh, court in the U.S. has upheld its right of the Boy Scout movement to ban gay people serving as troop leaders, which I think is a little bit scary in this day and age that we are uh, being banned from doing things. But also, I think that being scouts... Just the US. Well, yep. Yeah. And uh, you've got... On the, the theory of... On the theme of awards, this year you'll all, This week you'll all know that Ding Dong, the blessed Ding Dong, got a party at the TV screen, at the TV studio, for 40 years in television. Um, those of us who have been around as long as I have know that she's been around for about 40 years when 
and she's now 52. I mean, God yeah. only knows how she's ever survived that long. Exactly. <laughs> that long. When are you going to get your 40 years? Oh, God, I'm still trying to come to grips with being 32, so never mind exactly. 40. Um, congratulations, Ding Zong, and thank you for everything that you've done for the gay community over the years as well. She's been so heavily involved with um, that oh. one that wasn't, hey, hey, that ball, that wasn't that ball, San that Remo, that one, yeah, <laughs> the Bell's Ball and, and everywhere else. Yeah, yeah, she has been always come so forward. So congratulations, Ding Zong, and um, yeah, it's for another 40 years, I reckon. We should mention too, Paul, just quickly, um, tonight at 10.45, the Fantasy Ball Special. Absolutely. six weeks Spent TV special, so uh, make sure you stay tuned tonight to watch that as well. And I hear that Tabitha features quite heavily in tonight's episode, which mm -hmm. will be something to oh, behold. Great. Now, you've got some, um, yeah. some GST information for us, well, John. On the weekend, I was um, walking around and on looking at oh, prices right. with the GST. <laughs> <laughs> Walking around Gay Town. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to all the shops. I went to HMV, I went to Sanity, I went to Rhythm and Soul. And then I picked up some fabulous CDs that are actually $2 and $1 cheaper. Wow. Um, this isn't a product, a so product it's true. placement. No. Some things have come <laughs> down. Yeah, well, I got the latest sounds amazing. from Ibiza for $2 and $3 Unreal. cheaper. And vinyl's Excellent. gone down, so DJs right. will be happy about that. Wonderful That's to true. know that. All right, we're going to cross over to Make Tabitha sure now. Hey? Make sure you're. All you 30-year-old disco buddies out there, get your health your, insurance. Your health insurance. You'll Absolutely. You'll be at the nightclub, the disco ball falls on your head. And, and you're not so are you an HBA? <laughs> All right, so with that, take it away, please, madam. Yes, hi, and welcome back to the news desk. You're lucky enough to be looking at me because I'm so goddamn attractive. <laughs> Of course, we're going to a bit of soap news, home and away. Vinny's looking more and more attractive every time I see him since Tom left. I've had to look at him now to get my jollies at 7pm. Days of our lives, Billy is a slut, Hope and Bo belong together. It's going to take quite some time, but stick with them. A bit of sport news. <laughs> Pete Sampras is looking mighty fine out there on that court. Andre Agassi, forget about it. Mark Philippoussis, I love him, I love him, I love him. Um, Yelena Dokic, I feel very, very sorry for her. I know it's like to having an, an embarrassing parent and, you know, she's kind of, but I, I do admire the fact that she constantly sticks up for her father, which is quite nice. Perhaps a bit stupid, she'll grow up and probably have a huge nanny with him. But, Yelena, good luck on the court, sweetheart, and that gorgeous Russian thing with the blonde ponytail, I dribble for her. Um, Buffy's heating up, of course, getting towards the finale of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which truly is sensational. Her crossing over to Angel the other week was mighty fun. They didn't touch once, though. I got a little bit... <gasps> but I'm waiting for that. They, they, he punched, but there was no, like... Lingering. Then Angel's quite sensational at the moment. Um, what can be more sensational than watching Angel getting out of the shower with a towel wrapped around him after Faith had been beaten up? I thought that was quite lovely. Good morning, Australia. I can't get through the day without a bit of Bert Newton because oh, he just puts a smile on my dial. And um, Prince, of course, Prince William is about to turn 18. So I'll be sending my knickers over in the mail in a few days. And I'm sure then he'll get straight back to me. Can we see that? Oh, no, don't cover my face. Yeah, Look at that. Prince Willie. Yeah. Prince Willie, 18. And I have offered to give him a blowjob if he ever comes to Australia. Oh, Back to you, Paul. Thank you, Tabitha. <laughs> and thank you for that. And yes, I can see you as the next Queen of England with William right beside you. Now, there's one thing I'd like to say. Hey, the Saints won yeah. a game of football. Come on, the Saints. Unreal. Go, Stewie. All right, and um, now well, will be happy. he will be happy, and uh, a lot of other Hi, saints. Molly. And good on you, Timmy. We still love you. All right, we're going to go to some footage now. This is of the fabulous uh, Magnolia Thunder Pussy. Hey, Big Timmy, this is the exclusive. Magnolia Thunder Pussy will be our Melbourne representative. This is huge. To appear in Wigstock here in America. How's that? Big. We have a huge fundraiser for it. Don't you think, Stephen? Don't you think, Matt? Big TV. How's that? Well, yeah. We'll be here in I'll see you soon. The one and only famous. Here I am again, talking to the Magnolia Thunder Pussy of the Universe. I've just found out, being the little gossip monger that I am, that she will be the first, the absolute first Australian representative at Wigstock in New York. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I'm, I'm bloody I'm excited. Good I'm, on you. I'm having a party on the inside. I really am. So, what, like, what do you have to do? Oh, I have to go. I have to sing and dance and entertain them. And apparently they're filming they're filming Wigstock 2, the sequel, which I'll be featured extensively in, apparently if I go, do you know what I mean? Which I will be going, punters. 
And, you know, it's, it's very exciting. I'm, I'll be the Australian representative. I get to sing and dance. I'm, a, I'm an internationally renowned but the gender que- illusionist. The question we all need to know is, like, will you still call Australia home? Oh, I'll always call Australia home. I'm the thunder from down under. I'm the people's pussy. To my friends, I'm the innovator. To the other girls, I'm the imitator, you see. They all pop me in the end. And I just like to say, now or never. Well, I say now. Now, we need a little pussy. Now, we've got one. Oh. Thank you very much, Thunderpuss. Thanks, baby. All right. Yay. <laughs> the, the fabulous Magnolia Thunderpussy and our own Stephen Lovekitten Anderson, Roving yeah. Reporter. Now, Miss Jane, before we didn't get on to answering our letter, Jack or Jill for Weasel? What do we think? Take both. Yeah. Take yeah, by. Definitely. Yeah, right. The righteous one will stand up, you know, and you'll you'll be uh, you'll know who to pick. You'll probably end up alone, but don't worry about it. You'll start all over again. <laughs> just go for it. Just live it, girl. All right. And you've got one other article there oh, about, yes. about Gay Town. About Gay Town, <laughs> South Yarra, in top ten breaking lists. Get defensive, the police say, um, and just lock up and be and just uh, thieves are uh, catching trains into Hawksburn Bridge station and uh, breaking all these well-to-do areas. So get defensive, lock up, right. and, and there's lots of blah, drag blah, blah. and performers around that area. So right. lock up Hello, your jaws, girls. Hello, we Lewis. are so over time; it's not funny today, Brenda. Thank you very much for coming. I I just call my you? name. I, oh you my God. shit, I thought I'd got it wrong there. Stephanie, beware. Susan, Lock thank you, you darling. John, thank, thank you for coming in. Miss Jane, Paul, pleasure as you. always. Love you all. Get down to the dome, see Miss Jane Troy, thank you. Tabitha, what can we say? <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Everyone, come back and see us next week. Stay tuned for more Ben TV tonight and don't forget the Fantasy Boys Football Special at 10.45. Bye. You're gonna go. <laughs>